In this video, you will learn 11 plus math topic, algebra introduction. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. So now, a thing to remember in algebra is that algebra is just like arithmetic. So in algebra, you also have addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So let's start with addition first. And the example we have is x plus y. And as you guys could see, the way addition is written in algebra is very similar to how it is written in arithmetic. The only difference is in algebra, you're dealing with symbols, but in arithmetic, you're only dealing with numbers and no signs. So we can now move into subtraction. And in subtraction, we have x minus y. And x minus y, it's also very similar to how it is written in arithmetic. They're both very similar. And as you guys could see, x minus y is just like how you would write in arithmetic. But as we said before, in algebra, you're dealing with signs, but arithmetic, you're not dealing with signs. That's the only difference in terms of addition and subtraction, but multiplication and division are a bit more different. So let's start with division first. And as you guys could see, we have x divided by y. You guys may be wondering why x divided by y is different to how it is written in arithmetic. To be fair, in algebra, you don't write x divided by y like this. You instead write it in a fraction form. So x over y. So that's how you write it in algebra, because at the end of the day, a fraction is a division. So that's how you write it. So now, we can now move into multiplication. So multiplication, we have x times y. And you guys might wonder why x times y is different to arithmetic. The thing with x times y, or thing with multiplication in algebra is that multiplication is the default operation. So what do I mean by default operation? So let's say there is no sign between the x and the y. So if there is no sign between the x and the y, then it's automatically considered that this is a multiplication problem because multiplication, as we said before, is a default operation. So if there is no sign between a number and a symbol or between two symbols, it's automatically considered as a multiplication question. So x times y. So an example of it would be, for example, it could be xy. And in xy, it's obviously a multiplication, as we said before, but the thing is, there is no sign in between the x and the y. But since multiplication is a default operation, you need to consider it as a multiplication. So let's have a couple of examples, which are 5y and 4x. So 5y and 4x. So 5y, as we said before, both of these don't have a symbol next to them. So the 5 and the y, they don't have a symbol between them, which means it must be a multiplication. So which is 5 times y. And in terms of 4x, 4 and x, they don't have a sign between them. So that will be 4 times x. So now, since we have a looked at multiplication, we can now go on to the rest. So, but you guys may think that we do not need to use the multiplication symbol at all. But this is not true. You do need to still use the multiplication symbol in algebra. You use it when multiplying numbers. So let's have a look at 5 times 8. And let's try writing this without a sign in the middle. You will get 58. And as we all know, 58 is not the same as 5 times 8. So when you're multiplying numbers, you still need a multiplication sign. But a one way you can multiply numbers with no multiplication is by using brackets. And you guys may be wondering why, because we're using brackets and bracket has nothing to do with multiplication, well, this is because everything inside a bracket is grouped. And when you have two groups next to each other with no arithmetic symbol in between them, it automatically becomes a multiplication. So eight times five. And that's how you multiply numbers with no multiplication symbol in between them. Now to learn more on level plus maps, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.